What's going on, Capricorn family? I was going to produce another video, but this is the 10th video I've tried to record this evening. And so clearly I don't have any juice left in the tank, but I did want to have a conversation with you about channel changes that I'm going to be making. Now, I did another count for my active audience yesterday, and um, I'm going to be dropping Taurus. Now, one thing that has been consistent for me since the beginning of my channel is asking people to cross watch. Even when I was just doing the elements at the very, very beginning of my journey, cross watch, check out your sun, moon, rising signs. When I got to the individual zodiac signs, cross watch, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Now we're here where we're down to two signs. I don't know how that happened. It just did. Um, and I'm going to ask people to cross watch. You see that I am asking my audience for the most active people to see what's going on, trying to engage with them. That's all that I can do. I still have people asking me to do readings for other signs. Family, I have hundreds of readings. I literally have at least 100 readings in almost each sign from last year that I, uh, well, not 100, more like 20 or 30. Yeah, more than 20 or 30 readings for each sign that nobody watched outside of Capricorn, Taurus, and like Libra and Sagittarius. Those were getting quite a few views. The rest, nothing. I cannot dedicate hours of my time to producing content nobody is going to watch. I get that there's a few people that are still lingering around that are wanting, wanting me to put that label on my videos. But even when I would do all 12 signs, the readings were all very similar. They weren't that much different. We're talking about the whole collective here. I tried to, it's, it's an algorithm thing, it's, it's, you know. I tried to just put up general readings, you know, no label, nobody clicks on them. There's nothing I can do about that. People, and I get it, these aren't personal readings, so people want to make them as personal as they can possibly be. You know yourself to be a Capricorn or one of your signs, so you click on that. I get it, fine, cool. But that's where we're at. I can't, I can't change that. I can't. I spent nine months last year putting out content for people that were not watching. And I was literally driving myself crazy, exhausting myself. I cannot afford to do that again. So here we are. But what I am going to do on this channel, because Tarot just talks about the situation, I'm going to start to talk about solutions. I personally am getting very bored of talking about the situation without necessarily talking about solutions. Tarot doesn't give you a solution. Yeah, it doesn't. It gives you a perspective on a situation. I don't speak to demons. Now, I know there are some of you that say, you know, spirit. I don't know what that is. Um, to me, from my beliefs, Anything that's talking to you outside of God is a demon. That's it. It's a no-go for me. You, you notice I never say, well, spirit says, let's ask spirit. I barely even address the people that say, ask spirit. Thank you, spirit. Why did you say that? When spirit's not talking, I am. This ain't down to earth spirit. It's like, come on now. Just because other readers say that doesn't mean that everybody's doing that. And that's part, that's kind of the reason why I'm needing to take this turn as well. I... So with this speaking about solutions, I put a question in my community tab um, about would people be open to the idea of me starting like a Bible st study like series, like talking about the Bible, bringing those solutions in, tying them in, as well as I already started a little something, which I've been inconsistent with on the second channel. Um, but um, having people write in situations that they're going through and it being anonymous, you know, 500, 700 words tops, emails, and then I bring it to the channel, again, anonymous, and break it down. Talk, give, give suggestions, give ideas, and, and keep it like that, keeping it light. Because um, if you would trust me to do a tarot reading for you, you would absolutely trust me to, to be a um, personal coach, a life coach. And that's honestly the movie, the, the movie, the move that I'm making next. That's what I'm working on. That's what I've been studying lately. So you will see that in the very near future things along those lines. Um, I've already started some of that on my second channel. 
So you would be able to see some of that over there. The link is in the description box to that. But that is the way that we're moving. I find it absolutely silly at this point, again, to continue to talk about problems and or issues, but not the solution. Not how to get you from point A to point B or, you know, direction. So that that's that's the move. Um, Cause you know you could, you could see in the comment section like I, that for a lot of people, a, the majority of the people that watch this content, not just mine, as you know, no, it's not just mine. I haven't watched another tarot reader in months, not since May, June, April, even. It, it's been a while. What I see is a lot of delusion in the comment section. Not so much, not so much in mine on a regular basis, on a regular, regular basis, but I see it often enough. Where it's just like, why are you letting somebody play you like this? Respectfully. Why are you waiting to get closure from somebody when you don't have kids with them, when you don't live with them, you don't have any permanent ties, mutual friends, some of you haven't even met these people's friends. And you're under the impression that you can't let somebody go. You're under the impression that just because somebody calls you, you have to pick up the phone for them. That's nonsense. Um, you need to utilize the block button. If you're questioning how to break a cycle, when is a cycle going to end, when, how, block. How, cut people off. Cutting people off is not saying it's over and still talking to them. Let's be friends. That's weakness. It's weakness. And it's really a dishonor and a disrespect to yourself. Why are you being friends with somebody who doesn't like you? Why are you being friends with somebody who's jealous and envious of you? Why are you not moving past that? Um, the minute I catch that somebody's being jealous and envious, you get cut off immediately. Jealous and envious people are nothing to play with. They're dangerous. They're delusional. They want your life. They don't want what you have. They want to be you. Danger. Do not proceed. Those of you dealing with people that are putting you in third party, putting you, that you're allowing yourself to be put in third party situations with, You cannot blame them for playing you after the first time. After that first time that they lie to you and you call it out. After that first time that they do you wrong and you take them back. What you just said to them and yourself. Whether you realize it or not is that that behavior was acceptable. Because if you took them back and there wasn't consistent change behavior over a significant period of time it's a no-no you did that to yourself we have to stop blaming people for wasting your time they didn't waste your time you wasted your time with them you didn't want to let them go your ego got the best of you they were too cute you, you had spent too much time this relationship was public or you told people about them or whatever the situation was they don't care the people that ask about somebody who's ghosted them or they're not communicating or giving them mixed signals. Mixed signals are not mixed signals. It's very direct. They're not taking you serious. So what do you need to do when somebody's giving you mixed signals? You need to leave them alone. You can't trust a double-minded man. That's in the Bible. And, that, and that's why we're going to crack it open. Because the answers, the solutions to these tarot problems are in the Bible. Period. The solution to these tarot problems, if you're a Muslim, is in the Quran. OK, if you're Jewish, it's in the Torah. I don't you know, to each their own. But this is just to give you a different perspective and you have a, a neutral party, you know, whoever it is that you're watching me, someone else. That's what it is. But I want to start talking about solutions, fixing the problem, fixing these, this low self-esteem stuff, fixing the lack of common sense, talk, teaching people how to actually use their discernment, trusting your discernment. It's a God given gift. There are some of you that are wanting to ask a stranger, reaching out to me, wanting to know, can you tell me what my gifts are? 
If you don't know what your gifts are, how am I supposed to tell you? You want me to contact a demon so they can emotionally manipulate you? And you can invite that energy into your life? Absolutely not. I'm doing a disservice to my audience. Some of y'all are engaging with people and getting readings from people and all they're doing is playing with your emotions, number one. And they're inviting these demons and that energy into you. If they're saying, well, spirit says, spirit who? Which spirit? Whose spirit? Because it's not your TT. I guarantee you that. It's not. Grandma. I guarantee you that. It may sound like that. That's how demons work. Just like, you know, people that like to use the term narcissist. That's how they work. They feed off of your emotions. Positive in the beginning, you know, to draw you in and then negative on, on the back end. So that you so that you feel stuck, so that you feel trapped, so that you feel helpless, so that you feel confused, so that you're in a state of competition. Mm -mm. No, no, ma'am. So we're going to keep this common sense and we're going to make it more common sense. And we're going to start talking about discernment over here. On my second channel, again, links down below. That's what we're already doing that over there. Common sense, doing that. But I'm going to move it over here. And over here, I'm going to specifically get Bible specific. Over there, it's going to be more general. But again, the links to all that, to submitting your own story will be down below. But family, I'm saying we, but I have to start talking about real solutions. I'm, I'm too I'm too smart for this for just to, just to just be talking about problems but no solutions. It's nonsensical. It's not something I even do in my real life. If I talk about a problem, I'm talking about the solution. So that's what we're going to start to do. At least over here on this channel moving forward. So you will see more bit more content where I am not doing readings. You you will see my face. You definitely see my face on the other channel. Um I may do some things just like this where I'm talking and you're, you're looking at the screen podcast style. But um, I'm starting a different chapter. I'm starting a new chapter. And um, I'm hoping a lot of you are along for the ride. If not, I guess this is where we part ways and I'm totally okay with that. But um, you will see some changes. You are going to see more content that is... Um, not tarot readings over here. Um, so just prepare yourself for that over the next, like I said, several months, make it, making, a, making a change. So let me know what you think. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know where you're watching from. Always big shout out to all my supporters in Michigan, Lansing, Detroit, Saginaw, Grand Rapids, um, Oakland County. Um, see some people from Livonia, Traverse City. The UP, thank you so much. Um, and I'll be tapping in with you very soon, family. Please keep it real.